Hello and welcome back. We're playing Minecraft All the Mods 5. And uh, we've been doing a bunch of farming. And some more farming and some more farming. Um, it doesn't look like you get the Infernian seeds. It gives you the essence from uh, from growing in this crop. I, I thought I saw something about that on a chainsaw. I guess there's a, a way you can sort of recycle the seeds in the constituent ingredients. And I guess that, that could be overpowered. There might be a sort of a lot you could do with that. Um, but just from growing this stuff, um, we've got nine of the uh, infernium producing crops and uh, some more. Oh, we got another one. Now, I don't have enough of the, uh, the infernium to make another, like, third tier, so we're just going to plant this and get extra seeds from there. Starting to get a good amount of this stuff. I think that'll get us uh, right there, what we have. Not quite a stack of theorite. Let's see how much that'll, that'll give us. Let's see. All the types of stone. Yeah, that'll, that'll get us half a stack. It's a start. Um, we need an ender pearl. With an ender pearl, we can make the uh, the alchemy catalyst from Titania. With the alchemy catalyst, we can just make ender pearls. Um, or I'm sorry, with diorite. But to uh, to make this thing, we need a mana pearl, and a mana pearl is an ender pearl. Now we can get fragments, I guess, and we could make one out of a gas tier if we had an alchemy catalyst, which we need an ender pearl for. So, uh, I haven't found any, either in, uh, either in chests or from hunt mobs in caves, so I'm thinking about setting up to, uh, to do something dangerous, because I want that ender pearl, I want to get started on this base. Because that's, uh, that's the next thing I want to do in this pack. But to do that, the Osmium Armor is cool and everything. Um, but I think we're going to upgrade it. Or at least what I hope is going to be an upgrade. With uh, the Silence Tools mod again. That we made our nice tools out of. It's got all four different armor types. And I think I've got uh, enough blueprint paper to make one of each. We'll find out. It won't be the end of the world. If I don't, I can just make some more blueprint paper. Now, I wanted to make this out of uh, some fancy metal. Fanciest metal I could find. Tier 3 compressed iron ingots. So, uh, it's not as enchantable as some of the other uh, some of the other stuff that's, uh, that's in the pack here, like we've got uh, this redstone alloy, for instance, that's been enchantability is 18, armor durability is 20, durability is 840. This stuff, durability is 24, um, yeah, it's just, just higher, just the enchantability isn't as high. Refined iron, again, you know, it's just not as durable. Pressed iron, it just, just looks like the way to go. There aren't tears on this other stuff, which... I guess it's interesting, this is a silent mod, and a silent mod that, that aren't compatible, but that's okay. So let's, uh, let's see what it, it's not going to let us do that. We'll just have to, uh, punch it in. We'll see how good this stuff is. Okay, eight. I think that's an upgrade. All right. Doing it wrong. I was I was just doing it wrong, doing it wrong. Where is it? There are the pants. And it was one short. That helmet, that's five. I'm starting to get the hang of uh how these crafts are crafting recipes work here. 
That's, uh, that's a very elegant solution. Nice. Put these away. So what we have, we've got the Osmian Helmet, which is and pretty good, which gives us three. This gives us two and a half, okay. Five. Gives us eight. Six. That gives us six. And 3.5 versus three. So I think we're doing a little bit better than with the Osmium. Uh, durability 312. Okay. How do we look? Hey. Eh, you know. It's armor. Not bad. Put this old stuff away. So before I go off to uh, to do this dangerous thing, in uh, in hope of netting some ender pearls, I thought it would be a good idea to first of all armor up, and also to spend some of these levels on some enchants. And you know we might as well make another sword while we're at it, huh? What are we doing with this? We're doing 6.5. Can I make... Can I make a diamond katana? That sounds wonderfully extravagant. Can we do it? Let's find out. That'd be amazing. Looks like it. Hey, we can make a diamond katana. It's 5.5 and 1.0, and this is 5.5 and 2.0. Durability is 5.32. This would be much more durable. It's not that much. 5.5 is 5.5. We could make a diamond katana. Don't think we're going to. We will make uh, a compressed iron one now. See if that's better. That's cool. That would have been an unwise use of diamonds. I totally would have done it though. Okay, six point six. Okay, so this this is actually much better than that diamond katana would have been. I'm glad I looked twice. Alright, bow's pretty much like new. I got a little enchanting set up out here by the farm. Oh, hey! Hello, friend. What do you have? Fine poisonous potatoes, huh? I just might have poisonous potatoes for you. That's good to know. The rat's version of the, uh, the traveling trader. Much friendlier than that uh, Pied Piper character. That fellow was uh, playing antisocial. I thought I had some poisonous potatoes, I guess. Maybe I don't? Maybe we can pick some real quick. Where are the potatoes? None of these are really ready. Alright. I'll try to catch one of those dudes. So before I go to this dangerous thing, I thought we'd armor up and uh, see what enchantments we can get. Oh, I should get a fishing rod. I should get a fishing rod too. I you just uh non stop. Hey. For a second I thought that Pied Piper was gonna leave me alone. Um no such luck. So I like to have a variety of 
thing to have on me to enchant, so I'm going to do some enchantment. Because you don't always get the, uh, the best thing. And it's good to have uh, an opportunity to shop around. Once you enchant something, it, uh, it resets the table for all the different gear types. So say you've got the, you know, level 30 enchant on your sword that you don't want, for instance, like Dane of Arthropods, say you don't need Dane of Arthropods. On your sword, you can put uh, whatever the enchantment is in armor on a book is another good place. Um, and then next time you put the sword in, you'll get uh, you'll get a different set of enchantments to choose from. So these are from Quark. You just make them like the normal bookshelves, but with the uh, different kinds of vanilla wood. They look pretty cool. So let's see what we can get. Swimming over here. It's a rat. All right. Oh, I forgot Lapis Lazuli. So I got all of the leather um, from cooking up rotten flesh on the campfire, which is pretty good. And a thing I wish was in vanilla. Like, really, the only thing rotten flesh is good for at this point is that uh, trading with villagers. And it's good for trading with villagers. You can, you can get a lot of emeralds that way. But, you know, a nice source of leather. Which is, you know, I mean, in vanilla, how much leather do you need? Having an alternate source of it without having to kill horses or farm a lot of cows. Might not be that. Um, more rat pelts. What do we come here for? Lapis lazuli. That's right. Let's see if we get lucky with enchantments or not. I have an idea of how to uh, how to farm up some ender pearls. <laughs> and, uh, it, it involves me placing myself, uh, noted coward, in in mortal danger. <laughs> Every edge we can get. Let's see, this will give us fire protection four, which isn't really what I'm looking for. I'm breaking three. It's not bad. Magic protection four. Mm. Fire protection four. They're all kind of underwhelming. Ender disruption four. Don't know what that is. Quick shot three. Uh, my bow's pretty fast. Lure three. That I like the sound of. We're doing it. Lure three and unbreaking three. Nice. Okay, now we got Blast Protection 4, Blast Protection 4, Magnet 3, I wonder, Protection 4. Let's just see what we might get on the bow and on the sword. If Looting 3 was on the sword, I would have gone for it. Okay, Protection 4 and Insight 3, that's the XP boost one. Alright, cool. Magic protection again. Multi jump. Magic protection. Heading. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be heading three. All right. I got a pretty good idea what that's gonna do. Um, magic three seems to have a waste. Soulbound, we're gonna take the unbreaking. We got two more we can do here. Yeah, protection four. That's cool. Chilling rebuke two. Paralysis three. Boy. We're gonna go we're gonna go with chilling rebuke. And I'm breaking free. Okay. Very cool. So now, how do we look? Unchanged. 
it looks exactly the same. Um, okay, that's fine. It'll do what we need to do. So uh, I'm going to get ready for a little journey. I'm going to gather some supplies here. And then uh, I will see you all as I prepare to do something potentially unwise. Okay. Folks, we're back. I've chosen a place where I'm going to make my stand out here in the desert. Just me. At Fort Chicken Head. Me and uh, my traveling trader buddy over there. Yeah, so uh, this is my little, uh, this is my little bastion. You can see my beheading sword has been <laughs> doing its thing. I ran into uh, all the two chickens. On the way out here, which uh, means we're sitting with six arrows, which is not the best place to be um, if we're gonna do some mob hunting. So, uh, to keep ourselves as safe as possible while I uh, I hunt the elusive ender pearl, I built this little uh, this little bastion here <clears throat> with the uh, one side of it facing this volcano with all this lava. So this will all be fairly well lit up back here. I should have at least one direction where they're not coming thick and fast. Um, is, whoop. I'm having a bit of a problem falling through the trap door here. Uh, that'll be okay. I don't think, even though these, these acacia trap doors are transparent, I don't think mobs can see through them if they're closed. And uh, things, get, things get too intense we can just uh we can just hop down here. This is uh this is how the cowards do it, folks. This is how we're gonna get ourselves that ender pearl. So we're gonna wait till nightfall and uh see what happens. Folks, we got one. It took all night, but one finally spawned. Oh, there's a creeper right there. Of course there is. Oh, I got a creeper head. Now watch me not even get an ender pearl from this. Ender pearl! Finally! Alright, folks, we got our ender pearl. That means we can go ahead and, uh, and make our, our alchemy catalyst from the Tania. It also means that Fort Chickenhead was a success. And that's very exciting. We're just gonna avoid the Pied Piper here. And uh, head back to the base with our precious, precious Ender Pearl. And all our mob heads. Should I take the chicken head back? We're gonna leave Fort Chickenhead right here. I'm gonna make a waypoint for Fort Chickenhead. Come on, Shay. Come on, Journey Map. Come on. Come on. I want to add a waypoint. Okay. New waypoint for Fort Chickenhead. It's our uh, it's our land of hostile mobs. Fort Chickenhead. Perfect. What, what, we're gonna want to turn that off. I don't need to see that all day. There we go. All right, folks. So I am gonna head back to uh to our base, and we're gonna we're gonna make that alchemy catalyst and see if we can't get a good amount of diorite out of it. So uh, I will see you in a little. All right, everybody. We are back at the base, and we're gonna make ourselves. An alchemy catalyst from Batania. Now what this thing does, it, it allows for things to be turned into other things. So we need four living rock. And I, I believe we have stone somewhere, right? Right. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some living rock. And then we're going to go ahead and make the alchemy catalyst. And then I believe we will be finally ready to start uh, clearing some of this land out 
to make our, uh, what am I trying to do? Right. Where's our pure daisy? I'll finally be ready to, uh, <laughs> finally be ready to, uh, clear the land out, start making our base. I misplaced one here. We'll just have to live with just seven. Okay, so what else do I need for this thing? Now, the alchemy catalyst. Oh, it's not even going to let me. What does it make? Conjuration catalyst? I don't even know what that does. Um, this is going to allow us to make all kinds of things. We're going to need two golds, two brewing stands, and an ender pearl. Now, you'll notice in the recipe that that did not look like an ender pearl. And that's because an ender pearl, it was not. That, my friends, is a mana pearl. Now, you make a mana pearl by uh by throwing an ender pearl into uh our two brewing stands our precious precious i wonder what this stuff is corrupty dust draco arcana stuff and uh oh dear okay and we need two gold <laughs> i don't know what was up with all of that there it's uh, a little bit terrifying Sure, we'll figure it out sooner or later. I actually thought we were going to have to get into a uh, mod I didn't know to try to build ourselves an Enderman, but it turned out that uh, we didn't need to do that. All we really need to do, now that this stuff is in our absence, this, this stone has been transmuted by our pure daisy into living rock. All we really need to do is take our Ender Pearl here, throw it into our mana pool that we've been fueling up through uh, our endo flames with coal dropped out for our little uh, our little system over here. Now I see that the green check mark there over the arrow tells us that there is enough mana in the mana pool to turn an ender pearl into a mana pearl. Boom. There we have it and there it is. So let's make our alchemy catalyst. We got it. Now, the way these things work is you have to place them under the block that your mana pool is placed on. And now we can, we can throw things in there and transmute them via the alchemy catalyst. So let's see how, again, we make this diorite. Okay, so we make it with andesite. We make the andesite with granite. We make the granite with diorite. And we make the diorite with andesite. And now we can make stone into andesite. I thought that was going to turn into a, a horrifying infinite loop there. So let's see if we have any stone. Let's just... Uh, See how this works really quick. See if it works at all. Pretty sure I have a little bit. I guess I'm gonna need to. Uh, maybe I don't. Do I have any over here? I have a little bit over here. So let's see if this works. And then, uh, if this is gonna be a reasonable source of diorite to uh, build our little base with. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna manually throw it all in here. And see our little green check mark that I hope is telling us that we can turn this stone into andesite. And the andesite, which generates in the world a little bit, um, is telling us that we can transmute into diorite. Alright! So, this will get us some on-demand, and our mystical crop system over here, Let's see how this is going while we've been gone. Probably hasn't been going at all because the chunks haven't been loaded, but we'll take a little look. Yeah, okay, so this is slowly generating us the two resources that we can use to, to make the right out of this stuff. And the feeling I get is that 
the Vitania stuff is going to be good for the uh, the short term. Building out the, uh, the little pieces of our system. But it's this mystical crop that's going to end up getting us our bulk in the end. Because we're going to keep generating seeds. And as we make more Inferian essence, we're going to be able to, uh, to fertilize more land over here and get even more seeds. And make all of the diorite that we could possibly deal with. So, I'm going to start messing with that. I'm going to build up a good amount of diorite. And I'm going to clear out a bunch of these little risers here. So that we're actually finally ready. Three episodes in, well, be four episodes in, to, uh, to start work on our lighthouse. We're going to have to fill in some of this lagoon area. Because this isn't going to be wide enough. And, uh... And we'll see. So thank you all very much for watching, and I uh, hope you all have a lovely evening, and good night. Goodbye now.